What is up, YouTube? Hello, and welcome back to more Tale of Immortal. Um, we're over here. There's some demons we gotta visit, but there's also this charm quest that we're gonna go ahead and knock out. Since we're here, and, uh... Yeah, since we don't know what the story is going on with these charm quests, that I might, I might just, might just do it. Um, is there anything here that I can just knock out? Let's knock out these key refining one elixirs that we keep getting. All right. This guy. Forgot we changed our fucking, um, our moves here. To be the, um, the other one. All right. Gonna have to get used to it since it's a new recording session for me. I gotta remember what all we're doing here. Why are you... Okay, Soul Cage Talisman. Cool. We got some more textbooks. Okay. Thanks, dude. There's probably a story there. Um, if one day we are presented a, uh, a dilemma involving this story, we're just going to roll the dice. Because I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing there. But that's fine. Sometimes it's all right to have no idea. Anywho, um, as far as our skills go, let's convert this. This should be a ton of points we just got. 38 points. Um, this gold core technique we have right here. Aether's Rear Sutra. I want to get that to our next level. Um, so let's try to do that. Aether's Rear Sutra. We don't have our... Oh, we don't have any of the uh, D2 soul crystals. Tragic. Oh, well. We'll come back to that. But the upgrade for that one will let us heal whenever we're below a certain vitality, which combined with our um, our thing that gives us... What's it called? It turns our health into a shield. Might be good. Might be good. Not, I'm not sold on our last feat. I might replace it. Stop. He's my friend. The lady, you're home. The bosses are almost gone crazy after those humans abducted you. Hurry back to the camp. All right, I'm sorry for making everyone worry. You'll go see Father immediately. Is it really you, Lixi? Says Fang Yun Chao with his... Uh, his big, uh, throbbing left arm. I have returned, Father. You're back. Thank goodness you're back. If it weren't for Yuan Chao, who rescued me, I would have... Ah, I see. Thank you, friend, for helping my daughter. I should have held a banquet to thank you for bringing Lixi all the way back, but our camp is a bit shabby right now, so please forgive us. Boss, some of our people will have succumbed to the Deathly Aura in the north. Again? How many have been affected already? This can't go on. How are they doing now? Old Ju has been taking care of them. Life signs are stable and they're not currently in danger. If only we had the Holy Flame. You're still thinking about that, boss. It's just a myth. Besides, Everfrost is heavily populated with dangerous beasts. Anyone who enters will be devoured whole, if not careful. Come on, a little bit of evil ore can't be that bad. If you go seeking the Holy Flame and lose your life, now our people won't really be able to handle that. But you've all trusted me with your lives. As your leader, I'm of, of course, I must be, try the best for my people. I cannot trivial hardships hold me back. Father, I heard that those big sects would periodically send their elite disciples out on adventures. While Everfrost may be dangerous, the main disciples have already been there and returned safely. Even if the Holy Flame really existed, they'd probably have taken it already. Okay. Friend, I see you already know about our situation. While I don't want to be in hospital, in, inhospitable, I'm afraid that if you stay here, you'd be affected by the Deathly Aura as well. So if you don't have anything else to do, you should leave as soon as you can. Anyway, I have to go now. I have some other affairs to attend to. Father's right. If you stay here too long, you can become ill too. I say, I see. I'll take my leave then. Please let me see you off. Stay out of our business. Okay, so these guys don't like us when we hang out around them. I'll turn back here. The situation is dire between us and the righteous sex. I don't know if we'll ever meet again. We have our own different paths to walk on. Once everyone's settled down, we might see each other again. Yes, take care. All right, so I have a feeling um, whenever we get to the next stage, we're going to be doing a mission for them. Let's go and do this Golden Crow activity that we have. Let's also cultivate on our way over there. Oh, we can break through. Let us do this. Welcome to Origin Spirit Late Stage. 
props all around for making it here. What do we need to get to heaven tier here? We need this heaven auras. Realm of origins, and then these things in the land of the beyonds. Yeah, okay. Okay. Alright, we'll have to work on that. I think that's going to be something we do kind of passively, since, uh, like the other times we've had a breakthrough here, it's all kind of RNG. Countless pairs of eyes appear in the darkness staring at you. You look back fearfully, one by one they disappear, and we get fearless for attack bonus. You follow the young drug man into a small thatched cottage. Inside he is conjuring key to rid, it up, to rid himself of his drunken haze, and in a few moments he becomes sober. My name is Jing Hong. Apologies for making a fool of myself earlier. I heard that you mentioned that your master had managed to breed a firebird, and I asked about the situation. Long ago, the hero Hu Yi shot down the three-legged crow. There were a few of them that shed a few feathers while struggling in the sky, and they came into my master's possession upon chance. Master once read a book called Unfolding the Forgotten. It documented the anatomy of every single spirit. He spent half his life studying this book, and upon uncovering the secrets of the feathers, decided to try his hand at forging a firebird. After a few years, he succeeded in, for in forging a fire egg. The fire egg hatched a bright red chick. The body of the chick burns with heat, and touching it is like touching hot coal. When it moves, hot air blazes with it. It will surely grow stronger and fly into the sky to illuminate the earth with its fire. Just the three-legged crows of who ye did. So, where is this firebird now? Under my master's care, the firebird has grown extremely fast. It is a fully grown body of a bird and can travel into the air slightly when it flaps its wings. If it were not confined by master's spells, it would surely soar to the sky within a few days' time. You would aid Hu Yi in shooting down the three-legged crows, and the memories of the event still haunt you now. You can't help but ask more about the firebird. Not only does the firebird have all the three-legged crow's abilities, it can even reproduce by itself. When I left, the firebird had already laid two eggs and have not left their side even once. According to Jing Hong, the firebird does not need a mate to reproduce. It is obviously an independent and temperamental creature. You can imagine all the anguish it can cause when it does soar into the sky. I've repeatedly advised Master that it would be better to kill the firebird now, but the firebird is Master's baby. He could not bring himself to destroy it. Soon, Master became angered by my constant protests and drove me out. So Jing Hong drank himself into a stupor because he could not do much else. He pondered on how to handle the situation. Let's talk to the Master. Jing Hong, we shall hurry before the bird develops its, fully, its full wings. Let's stop your master from continuing to care for the firebird. In the past, they helped the hero Hu Yi shoot the three-legged crows together. I know the details of the firebird. I should be able to convince him to stop nurturing it immediately. Master is stubborn and it's hard to convince him when its heart is already set. But seeing as the firebird is in his care, we have no choice but to try to persuade him. We should hurry. Master lives in Yongming. I'll take you to him now. He's all the way over here? Jesus. Jesus. Okay, let's find a newest, our newest town here. Um, let's think. Here's the mountain area right there. There's a city right here. Let's go to the city and we'll uh, teleport back to Yangning. Skip the month. Okay, there's some monsters appearing around the world. Let's go fight those guys. We got new mine technique. Oh, that's pretty good. Origin Spirit 5, anyone stat 168. Uh, we are not going to help the sex assault right now. Let's actually learn this technique here. Yeah, this has good, some good things that are synergized with our uh, our last destiny that I'm still not sold on, but whatever, we'll go with it. Okay, give me another time. skill that we can actually keep at our stage. Um, we'll have to go with the Origin Spirit one right here instead of this one.
I guess this is above red. So, I don't know how the scale works here. Huh. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. I think that was a good decision. Uh, it's going to give you something free. Of course, I'll accept it. Thanks, champ. Sagittar has appeared in Land of the Beginning. Uh, we are not going to help. Is there a thing here? Sagittar in Land of the Beginning? Realm of Origin. Land of the Beginning. Okay, we're going over here. Strong winds pick up, we fall down a cliff, and then we get some key, we uh, some wood key. All right, so let's remember I have uh, to persuade this master here. Fight me, demon! I need uh, better skills here. Got to, I've got to sell all these damn things. Um, is there any like really good elixirs we have on us? Here, we'll equip these. Wait, this is not the this is not Sagittar we're fighting. What the hell? I guess we'll fight these guys anyway. And do your line attack. Okay, should be easy fights here. Sand and Earth Shard. There we go. Now I can fight Sagittar. These attacks are kind of slow, which is nice. Other than that, I guess. Yeah, this sword thing is awesome. That's awesome right there. Okay, so it gave me a feng shui diagram for a higher level. Gave me some fruits. Fixin' Jade. Earth Aura. Okay. A cultivator to reach a high, higher stage of the Nisian soul. God fucking damn these monsters. Can I run? Yeah, get me out of here. I failed to escape. trading resources to get out of here faster. Yeah, ultimate move kind of sucks now. 
because the damage just hasn't scaled with our level. This is our sect that we're raided by. This is our sect. Let's go to our sect. Go ahead and rest. Yeah, let's claim some wages here. We're still on initiate. I need to get to the next level. Or I can go all the way to True Disciple. I don't have anything that's at the high enough level for it. And that's even considering the fact that these guys sell a Heaven's Aura. Okay, let's store some stuff in our tree bolt. Well, my inventory is getting a little bit messy here. Um, these things can all... Well, I'll keep these on me, because I'm going to go and sell those. Um, let's get rid of the Vixen. Well, we'll carry the Vixen Jade. We're going to get rid of uh, this Heaven Aura we have. We have one. We have two Earth Auras. Then we have the other ones as well. When did I pick these up? Oh, I didn't know I had those. Give me a bunch of things for our mood. Worth a lot. Worth a lot. And we'll just trade all these out. Okay, let's use our things we just picked up. I seriously don't think this is as good as the one we have. We'll put this back in the vault. I don't like the fact this doesn't give us regen. Because we get, a, we get like a, a constant health regen with the one we currently have once we hit the next level. I'm um, assuming you're below a certain health. Which I think is really good. Um, I would use the new one we got if we didn't have the um, history thing. That Let's drop both of these off. Okay, I also forgot apparently one of the books in my inventory somewhere down here. Yes, there's the mining book. Okay, how's our how's our spirit beast doing? He's only level three. This is we're so weak. How are you only level three? I just don't understand how we'd let our spirit beast. He's gonna he's gonna get one shot by anyone we run into. Also, our techniques are kind of dooky. Not the best. Like, that's not bad. Hmm, let's try to, let's try doing promotion here. And go to Disciple. That was first place, that's bull. <laughs> anyway, I have some things to eat here. Fist fruit, how's my fist looking? 166, my blade is 200, I can use fist. Okay, we need to portal over towards our target, which is over here. So we're going to go to Yuan Town, 47 contribution points. Let's do it. All right, once we complete some of these quests, I'm going to need to go grind some sec contribution and get us our levels up. So I see a lot of grinding in my future. What is this? We'll fish. All right, nothing grazes your grazes the place save for a bamboo hut. As you and your companions step into the bamboo forest, you hear footsteps echo from within. A man, old, with a snowy head of hair, walks out of the hut. I am Ming Tong. Who is who's there? Is it Jing Hong? Have you finally decided to care for this firebird with me? In the past days of the Ten Suns, Yang Ning became nothing but scorched burnt land. Do you not fear the past repeating itself now that a firebird is in your care? I sincerely ask that you would listen to my pleas and kill the firebird before it's too late. The firebird is birthed by my hands. Everything's under my control. The thought that it will create another tragedy like that is pure nonsense. A bird soar seeks to soar into the sky. It is in their nature. Once it flaps its wings and flies, there will be two suns in the sky, and the unforgiving bird, an unforgiving fury of its running heat, will soon destroy the world. The firebird is contained within a secret cave now. If I do not release it, it cannot leave. The world will be destroyed. Ha! How self-righteous of you. Even if the bird loses control, I shall have my way of, of stopping it. There's no business to you, young one. Master, your disciple always pleads that you slay the bird now, or else the consequences may be dire. 
Jing Hong, you are my most trusted pupil, and you have always served loyally by my side. The firebird is also raised and bred by me. If it asks me to kill you, do you think I will say yes? Jing Hong is a man. The bird is a monster. How can you compare? Jing Hong is a soul birthed from heaven and earth, as is the firebird. These, these is no different. There is no difference. Stop with your nonsense and leave this instant. I was making great progress with unfolding the forgotten today. Do not distract me. As Ming Tong asks you to leave, Jing Hong stands and blocks your way. He tells you the location of the firebird, hoping you to go there and slay it. Before you can react, Ming Tong rushes out, releasing his towel upon you. The towel becomes streams of light shooting at you. Seeing this, Jing Hong quickly casts his towel to block Ming Tong's attack. In a blink of an eye, the sky is filled with streams of light crashing and slashing at each other. You, how dare you defy me? Jing Hong and Ming Tong battle without even touching each other, light shooting from their palms. Even though you worry about Jing Hong, you decide to leave hurriedly. While Ming Tong is distracted by Jing Hong, it must go to the cave of the firebird. I have a f slight feeling I was supposed to do this way earlier, since we're in this gosh darn region. Also, why did the quest just go away? Yeah, why did that, why did that hide from me? Let's ride our egg over there. I might accept that offer after this uh, quest is done just to teleport me all the way back there without costing me money. You descend down the cave without stepping and see the firebird not long after. The bird is asleep beside a pool of lava. Its body curled around the two eggs, one of which is already cracked at the shell, meaning it could birth another chicken soon. You approach the bird slowly, hoping you can cast a spell from distance to eliminate with one hit. But as you draw closer, the bird's eyes shoot open, glaring straight at you. As if it can sense your hostility, it begins to attack you. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm way, I'm way too strong for this. Sorry, bird. Bird seems to be bound by some kind of spell and cannot unleash its full power, allowing you to defeat it. Just so you're conjuring a spell, someone attacks you from out of nowhere. The person points their fingers and shouts, Free! The mist that was surrounding the bird evaporates in the air. Knowing the bird, the bounds that can find it have been done, done, you quickly release your spell towards a three legged crow. A thick layer of dust explodes from the spot where your spell hits, and the two eggs are shattered, but the birds burst out from under the breeze. It cannot fly it, but it flaps its wings into a mad dash, disappearing in the blink of an eye. Ming Tong, you freed the firebird. Where, where is Jing Hong? I killed him. The pathetic excuse of a disciple to fare to defy the words of his master. Ha! Don't you worry about him. You'll be on your way to join him soon. The firebird has escaped, though it still cannot fly. It is only a matter of time before it soars in the sky and brings anguish and destruction. But then it would be too late. Unless he somehow resurrects himself from his grave to stop it, you pay no mind to Ming Tong, only wishing to catch up to the freed firebird. The bird is quick. I need to catch up. You, I'll avenge you. Jing Hong, you will not let your master ruin the day. I like the pathing where it tells you go up and around instead of just over the rock. Builds ahead of you is in flames. You hear screams of agony and pain coming from within. I mean, the firebird must have flown past here and showered the place with its fire. Before you, behind you, Ming Tong arrives. Youngling, don't make me use violence. Ha, please. Please open your eyes and see. The firebird merely passed by this village and houses have already burned to the ground. Once it soars higher into the sky, it'll cause even greater damage. Are you still going to protect the firebird out of stubbornness? The flames have painted half the sky red. Ming Tong looks towards you where you've pointed and stops in awe. Without a word, he waves a hand. A shower storm is instantly raining down the village, extinguishing the flames. The rain seems to have also a healing property, and you also feel energized palm droplets hitting you. But are people who have already perished in the fire and are as powerful as Ming Tong is he cannot resurrect the dead Ming Tong stares ahead at the burnt village but you ignore him hurrying ahead to catch the firebird everywhere everywhere the bird goes we burnt the ground and must hurry okay so we got a bunch of stats and we need to go and save more people from the bird hello bird Trees of the wood around you have all fallen to ground, burnt to a crisp. Black smoke billing out of the rains, the firebird must have passed by. Several people in hunting gear lay on the ground. They were probably survivors of the previous village and wanted to hunt down the firebird to avenge their loved ones. They were too ignorant, trying to stop the firebird without any towel. You hear a rusting behind you. It must be Ming Tong. When you look back, the old man is staring at the bodies of the hunters with his brows knitted, clearly distressed. 
Why did they bring this on to themselves? The firebird passed by the village, killing many. Their relatives died. Their homes were destroyed. It's only natural that they tried to seek revenge. Ignore him trying to leave, and the old man doesn't try to stop you this time. He stands still, staring at the dead bodies blankly. If you don't hurry, you'll lose sight of the firebirds. You must catch up to it straight away. So the old man's going to kill the bird, because he's so... It's like Frankenstein's monster, is what it is. But he is Frankenstein. Since the monster... The, the monster doesn't have a name. Frankenstein's the doctor. Um, artifact fiend. Sure, send out again. Got a bunch of cultivation resources, which is pretty cool. Some of that will be very useful for us, I'm sure. Let's get our alchemy up here. I can finally learn this herbology skill that's been sitting in my inventory for ages. You keep running along the way, you see several dead bodies all burnt to a crisp. They've been set on fire. It must have been the firebird. One of them appears to still be breathing. Before you can check, Ming Tong appears. He sees the injured and hands you an elixir, which you quickly try to feed to the mouth of the burnt victim. Before, but before they are able to swallow it, their head lulls to one side. It's too late. They're dead. Ming Tong takes a hard look at the body and lets out a long sigh. Then he suddenly raises his eyebrows. If he'd come to a decision it's something, on something, it runs off. You're unsure of what he's scheming, but you must catch up to the bird before, you, before more innocent lives are lost. Okay, so he's going to kill the bird. It's all he can do. Okay, you can. Get, this is how we get uh, some skills here. Let's go to the peak of the mountain. This will give us a finger skill. It's only level two, so I'm gonna throw that shit away. That garbage. Waste of my damn time. In the past, two you had injured the three of the good crow before you fought it, or else it would have been a futile battle. In front of you now is a firebird out of shackles. Should you fight it? Of course. The firebird hasn't been freed for long. It's the best front way to kill it. We will go in there and fight. That sword is so fucking strong. I love that artifact. You've just managed to gain an upper hand against the Viber, but suddenly Ming Tong forced his way into the battle. Putting distance between you and the, fire and the bird, Ming Tong obviously came prepared. One hand heals a spear. It looks like some rare and powerful artifact. You've seen the damage the Firebird caused. Why are you still so stubborn? I've worked on this bird for half my life. How can I just let you kill it so easy? When the Firebird develops fully, full wings, it'll become harder to stop. Are you going to waste time fighting with me here? At your words, Ming Tong's expression darkens, and he lowers his weapon slowly. He looks at the bird. His fingers, which were really pointed in stance, quivers ever so slightly. The Firebird in the sky seems to be... See Seems to see through your hesitation in its master's heart. It flaps its wings, hurling flames in your direction. When you notice the attack, it's already too late to escape. The fire comes straight for you. Just before you're hit, Ming Tong uses a spell to push you out of the way. Avoiding the rushing flames, you immediately launch a counterattack with Firebird a sword of the sky, dodging your Tao easily. The bird swirls and tumbles through the air with practice ease. Ming Tong is on his knees, only not falling down by landing on the spear he has dug in the ground. While saving you, he was spurned by the flames of the bird. His chances of survival are slim. He had worked half his life to breed the bird net, but now he reaps what he has sown. You kept the bird in restraint because you knew you wouldn't be able to control it once it grows, so you shackled it and stopped it from leaving. But you're doing some great consequences, and now it may be too late to stop it. Ming Tong is silent, his expression readable. Aside from his injuries, he seems to be deep in thought about something else. Ming Wen, you spoke with such pr pretty words early on as if you were ready to sacrifice yourself to save the world. Let me tell you now, there is a way to kill the three-legged crow. What? The spear in my hand is the sun spear. The wooden handle is made of hibiscus branches. Once the spear is thrown, it soars faster and more powerful than thunder or lightning. You will sure be able to kill the firebird with it. Ming Tong hands you the sun spear, then he lets out a pointed chuckle. I heard you helped Hu Yi shoot down the three-good crow in the past. Don't you think this spear looks similar to Hu Yi's white arrows? What do you mean? Ho, ho, ho. I learned how to forge the white arrows from a secret manual, but instead of I made them to spears. Sun spear. It may have a different name, but it's just a long and bigger white arrow. The young one, even with this immense talent, Hu Yi fired nine arrows in a row, and the substantial release of power made him wither away. How many times do you think you can, you can attack with this spear? He has a point. If you throw the sun spear, it will likely take a huge amount of your power and you may wither away into ash. Young one, you spoke of big words earlier on, but now you are hesitant. Don't consider this for too long. The firebird was created and cared by 
carefully by me. When it grows, it will become more powerful than nine crows at who you killed. Combined, a little longer in the air, it will be able to easily dodge your attack, even with the spear. We will throw it. At this point, I cannot let back down. Like Huyi, I shall take up the burden with courage. Let me throw the spear. Taking a deep breath, you aim this in the bird in the sky and thrust the spear with all your might. The sun spear turns into a stream of white light in the sky, piercing the soaring bird. As the bird falls towards the ground, it disappears into the air, painting the sky in red. You stay standing, rooted under the ground, preparing for the worst. But after a long while, nothing happens to you. Ho, ho, ho! So you are not one to speak big words and not follow through. You have guts, young one. He's des desiccated now. Uh, what? The spear isn't from Huyi's arrows. The spear powers it is tied to my own. Once thrown, it's not your energy and life that it burns, but mine. And that must mean... Ming Tong moves his lips to say something, but his eyes dim suddenly and he stops. A gust of wind blows the, and Ming Tong's body disintegrates into ash, carried away by the wind. Ming Tong's last words seem to mention Jing Hong. Where is he? Could it be that Jing Hong is still alive? Uh, we will never know, because I don't have a fucking quest for it. So who knows? All right, let's go back to town here. Let me get out of this pathetic, not key dense region. Let us go. We are going to return probably back to the city, I think. Yeah. Mushroom man, fight me. Some music, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright, let's use our, some of our energy here. Puppet, show me your stuff. Dead mushroom. Got a jade, herb textbooks, and some other garbage. Probably not honestly worth my time. All right. Um, for now, I think I'm going to spend some time going around and capturing a lot of the stuff that's around us um when i say capturing i mean i'm exploring i don't know why i said capturing but i need i need to kind of see what's in this region i need to explore this region and things like that so i think that's what i'm gonna do right now um yeah i'm gonna rest up here is there anything we can turn in not really anything interesting at the tavern no anything at the workshop I could buy these things. Do we have this recipe for the soul reconstruction pill? I don't think we do. Well, let's buy both of these. And body reconstruction. These are all like really important pills, right? This is like the um, yeah, reconstruct your body. No, okay, I can learn this one. What is this one that I have on me? Soul reconstruction. Okay, I need to be next level to do that. All right, with this, I'm going to go and uh, do some exploration. I'm going to I'll bring you guys back once we're ready to presume, continue on the story or in case I find something cool during my exploration. So I'll see you guys then. Literally the first month that passed, I have this girl come back up. Yuan Chao, what are you doing here? If I left the camp recently on his own, we think he must have headed to Everfrost. I'm worried about him. Could you go after him? According to legends, there's a special item called the Holy Flame that can be found in Everfrost. Flames are said to be able to purify all evil. Our people have been suffered for... I've been suffering from the death of the aura for a while, and Father often considered going to Everfrost to search the Holy Flame. I can't thank you enough. Right, we're not doing that for a while. 
Um, since I don't have the strength to survive an Everfrost. We went there once, and I almost died, so... We will not be doing that. Not at all. Um... Okay, that, that, we've had that event like seven times. It's kind of ridiculous. Anywho, I'm going to get back to my exploration. I'm going to slowly cultivate towards our cap here. There's also some monsters I think I'm going to try to fight. Like uh, like this Dream Breaker here. We need to fight this guy eventually. So after my exploration, I think we're going to go and face that guy down. So I'll uh, keep doing my exploring thing, and I'll bring you guys back once we're ready to progress or until we have another event, whichever comes first. So without further ado, uh, I'll catch you guys later. I was doing my exploration. It looks like we've come across Jing Hong. He's uh, come from the distance to a young man walking towards you. He waves, looking harder. You see that it's Ming Tong's disciple, Jing Hong. Ming Tong said he killed you. I thought, sometimes don't understand my master's intentions. He only apprehended me before catching up to you. So you know about what happened after. I can guess the gist of it. Even though master loved that firebird, he knew it was hard to control. That's why he bound it with restraints made with Tao and hid it away in a cave. If the bird never left the cave, it would have never learned how to fly and never would have caused anguish like a particular crow in the past. Master was careful. He suspected the bird would break free sooner or later, so he forged the sun spear as a last resort. If the bird went out of control, he would kill it with the spear. That day when he stopped me and locked me up, he carried out with the spear in hand, so I knew that he... I knew then that he had already planned on killing the bird. Fortunately, Master Ming Tong had planned for the worst. We were able to stop his disaster from happening with his sacrifice. With him gone, what do you plan to do from now on? During his lifetime, Master devoted himself to studying soul remnants and physical body reconstruction, and there are still many mysteries that have not been solved. I will travel to the Nether Mountains and research more to fulfill his dying wish. Oh yes, before he left, Master gave me something. It was a slither of soul remnant he found near the Nether Mountains. You may find it useful later. Ask for the golden feathers and remains of the sacred monster. It will only cause trouble from the wrong hands. I shall leave them in your care. Jim Hong turns to leave. You watch she walks away. The vents of the fire bird finally coming to a close. So, carrying the feathers of one crow, you will be with the envy of many birds wherever you go. Oh. And then we have a wisp of a soul. I wonder. Yeah. So that that quest here is now just completed. So we're gonna we're gonna do some exploration. I, I have a strange feeling the magpie is gonna come and approach us real soon. About this soul, f the feather that we have, our inventory. So we'll give it some time and see if that happens. Let me cultivate too. What is this place? You find a building in ruins in front of you. Decide to inspect the room, but just the time you approach it, you hear two voices talking. I greetings, Elder. Oh, this is a uh, this is the event we found. Elder, what a shame! You find me here and want to capture me, then bring me to Yao Chin Zun. Yes? No, I'd never do that. You left me secretly and took Yao Chin Zun as your master. You are so courageous. And what do you think about it? I I, hmm. You say Yao Chin Zun sent you here to find the ruined branches. Why does he want to have such? Why does he have such a whimsical thought? Elder, you may know that. That Elder Yao is obsessed with the thoughts of destroying our temple. He still has the same ambition as you on the matter related to the survival of our master's descendants. Elder Yao once told me the first and foremost matter to be concerned about is the survival of the temple. Believe him if you like, Yao Chen Sun knows only, knows only to incur our doom. If we meet the next time, you could skip the greetings and just cast some spell to attack me. This fellow alchemist apologizes anxiously and kneels on the ground. After finishing speaking, Shi Ching waves her hand and leaves there. The alchemist stands up again only after Shi Ching has walked out of sight. Okay, I guess we'll do this since we're here now. Good, you find me here. Now you, you're also many of you, uh, you, you, Yao Chin Zun? Tell the wish of Elder Chao. Hmph, you know nothing about the affairs of our temple and you're still willing to act as go-between for Yao Chin Zun. His price is be high. Please tell him he must surrender his great cauldron or I'll attack the divine cauldron temple with my fellows. Uh, no negotiations. That's all. Goodbye. Okay. Interesting. There's some intrigue going on in the alchemy parts we'll head uh, we'll head back down and complete that quest after we finish our exploration um for now i'm just gonna scobble up all these sweet sweet cultivation resources Stop, I don't disagree with you. That's my that's my elder brother you're talking about. Sagittar is in the land of beginning. Uh, 
I don't have this. Oh. That should be fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, this should be really fast, so. I'm gonna do this and I'll come back, since we can one-tap everything here, so. See you guys soon. Looks like in one month we're invading another sect. Um, not sure how that's gonna go. Uh, best of luck. I'll tend that. We'll see. I'll, I'll be on the front lines there, so hopefully we uh, don't get curb stopped. Oh, there's a town here. Anything interesting going on? Anything to sell me? Um, I think I already have all of these. White deer. That's a new one. I'll buy that. And let me sell some of the garbage I just got. Get this bone whistle. Alright. Doing that little quest for my friend has just filled my inventory with garbage. It's level 1 now. But oh well. Stuff happens. Can't blame him for too much there. Is there anything cool in the manual pavilion for me? Not really. Alright, I'm gonna keep exploring. And, uh, well, actually, come the turn of the month, we should have a, a big fight here. So let's keep you guys around for couple of days in game. We'll do some cultivation with the, the time we have. Spirit flower. This is uncanny. Okay. Maybe I should have harvested the flower. Alright, new month. Let's see. Uh, we're going to attack the Mo-Yang sect. Is that our old sect? Let's go to battle. This is the demonic sect. Seven. You really are getting too big for your boots, even though young sect has turned against me. Today my disciples will teach you a lesson you you won't forget. So who's this guy? Level six. So she's gonna win. Shut up and just fight. Can you sect Yunmo Branch? Forget about your scheme. We okay. Okay, I've got a lot of people. So the Jin Lan sect was our old one. Or actually, we were the Xin Chong sect. Yun Mo, okay. Oh! Apparently, we joined our enemy, so we've ch we changed sides. Also, I heal. Oh, I'm gonna have so much health. Okay, we're gonna be attacking um, some of the other branches. We're just initiate. Yeah, we're just going to be on the outside of the branches here, so this should be interesting. I can't open my bag, too. So I could equip more stuff. People are already dying. Uh, where are we outnumbered? We'll go to our outer battlefield. I think there's some people here who are a little bit higher level than I am. I've been bopped. Let us heal. Go back to Outer Battlefield 8.
like we get our shield back every time we go to a fight, which is kind of crazy. Kind of really strong, that is. get this thing down. Uh, at least we're gonna try. Since it's consumed with too many resources and we find ourselves in disadvantage, you must fight the enemy with caution, save some more strength, we'll never breach the enemy's defenses. We're about to destroy this thing. Let's go to this one. We're at 23. The cap is like 30 something. We're about to get defeated. this but let's just heal up make sure we don't have no like empty health whenever we this is over all right let's head up um we'll go back to our array hole okay we got some good experience there we didn't win which is fine and the enemy is too strong to be trifled with. Our attack is bogged down, dropping us in disadvantage. We better give the enemy some resources and compensation and treat as soon as possible. Run! <laughs> Stupid. Okay. Interesting little engagement that was. We did not win anything, but we did get some experience, which is always good to have. And I get to fight this monster. How many times have I killed Sagittar? Do you wonder? you I'll take another yet another earthly aura earth aura this is that 98 percent. that's pretty good more fist fruit more wind fruit not ideal but we'll take it all right uh, let's eat the fruit we're finding here keep our fist and wind stats up higher and i'm gonna get back to exploring we only have a little bit left we have this region here which goes about up to like up, up to the freeze up there so only have a little bit left to explore and then we'll be able to keep progressing our cultivation oh son of a fucking bitch but um yeah I am shit I'm gonna bring you guys back once we've done some exploration or we have another event pop up so I will see you guys then alright we're back I've done some exploration. Um, as you can see, we've unlocked pretty much all of uh, Yun Mo. Um, and you can see all these different spots we've found that we're going to have to fight for. We've 
snuck around a little bit to Everfrost. We also found some places for we have to do the ugly sage events and things like that. Um, but now I think we're going to go and try to fight this guy down here. Um, I think he'll be the last big thing we have to do. I think once we finish fighting that, I'm going to go back to our sect and grind out some contribution points. I want to try to uh, get some better manuals for the blade. Um, here's hoping their manuals aren't shit. Um, let me just take a repellent charm real quick. That's Everfrost. Let's do the 100 hell hills. Because um, fighting that fucking thing... Fighting over here sucks. Clipper is going here to train, the very one. Take the repellent charms, take the teleportation charms. Well, yeah, sure. Thank you. Don't mind the teleport charms. Those are pretty nice. Still haven't had anything to do with the chickadee or the maypie. Um, we are still getting these textbooks, though, which is nice. Uh, we're not going to join our sex assault. Let me use these textbooks while we have them. Get our feng shui up. Eventually I'll be able to learn all the things I've not been able to learn yet. I don't want to say anything because I hope we get all the way to this thing without having to fight the monsters. Thank you, Lord. I've learned just how strong this, um... Oh, he spawns everything. Our sword is like this thing right here. This artifact. Oh god, it just got one shot. Never mind. Well, it's strong whenever someone doesn't kill it instantly. Oh, you're tall. Oh, I see what happened. It must have spawned the, uh, the blizzards right after. Can you stop that fucking... This guy's gonna force me to, um... have to heal. Please stop getting stuck on the rock. Okay. Get him, sword! Yes! Okay. What do we get? Oh, we got a martial manual. It's level 6, but we got one. We got one, and I think this one does 7% of damage. Oh, it's the blade one. It's the blade one. It does seven blades. Yes. Yes. And it, it gives bonuses to damage. Um, Orton Spirit Realm to Nascent Soul Realm. That's good. Open or move. For every fiery flame on the battlefield. Okay, we don't really have fiery flame. As a, wait. We have blood blade. And yeah, we don't spire and spawn flames. Um, but it's not too bad. Not too bad. Also got a monster core. And the big thing is we got this this ruby coral here. We really needed that. Okay, we're going to be farming this guy if we ever get the chance to now. So, as it currently stands, we have the ruby coral. We have one heaven's aura. We still need these five things. These are obtained. Land of beyond, land of beyond, land of beyond, land of beyond. Land of beyond. And the Mystical Beast map. So there's these Land of Beyonds. There's Land of No Return, Land of No Return, Land of No Return, Land of Beyond, Land of Beyond. Okay, so it's these things around here. Our Land of No Returns for the next level. Secluded Valley. How long? These are in Everfrost. Hmm. What are the land of no returns? Are those are those also for this stage? Land of beyond. Huh. Not sure. Well, let's try to get out of here before we have to fight. 
It's good to see we beat that guy, though. Alright, so now we're, what I'm going to do... Oh, this is a good event. I love this event. Thank you. Thank you for the heals. We're gonna let's try the uh the uh, strange dude, his uh his quest line for us since we're now here. Join the contest. So corpse lord, he's definite. Um, I also like I like Lydra, and I think I like albino spirit ape here as my squad. Felvorm is not bad too, or abomination. Let's do abomination. <laughs> Let's see how these guys fare. Not well. Alright, definitely need to be one tier up to actually do this event then, is what it seems like. Seems like we need to be level 6 to have a chance against those guys. Alright. So... Um, present magpie. Sure. Alright, let's do the let's do the magpie thing. Let's go, let's talk to the Mr. Magpie here. Uh give them a good beating. Uh, no. You're bottlenecked. How dare you! Fight my corpse lord! Thank you! Leon's blood move. Just, just let go. Just get over here. Alright, let's talk to Mr. Magpie. Got my shit back. Didn't I just beat you up? Or is this one else? Give him a good beating. I need that. That that that's you. if she actually took that, I I'd be tragic, because that's like my primary move, right? Jesus. This is level six. Keep your stuff. Just get out of here. We haven't had to kill any cultivators yet, and I prefer not to have to. Right, let's go to this town first. Someone's singing. A strange horse white face. Okay, we're gonna get Lushu's favor. Thank you, Lushu. What's this? Carves the fruit. Yummy. I want to hide these manuals before I get both of them just snatched from me. Do you want a gift? Here, take this artifact I'm never going to use that I got. Birds like shiny things. Thank you. Anything I can buy here now? Nope, seems all good. There's a feng shui. Is this mining or is this feng shui? That's mining. Okay, let's talk to the magpie, and then we will end this episode here. The feather you speak of, is this it? Oh, 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 this lustrous gold, this blaming bright red. What a perfect combination of colors. The red string I've earned in the past ten years were not spent in vain. Um, but you gave it all to that woman. I did not receive any. Hmm? You're not companions with the madam who loves carrots? You just realized. It is getting late. I must be on my way. When I am mated with my love, I shall return once more to thank you. That bastard. <laughs> he didn't get, didn't get a damn thing for that. Alright, well, uh, I'm going to return to our sect. And uh, I'm going to start grinding some quests here to try to get our cultivation up. Uh, get better manuals and the like. And then we'll probably, um, after I get tired of that... We'll run around and get the materials we need to get to the next level. Um, yeah, I want to try to get to a higher level of our sect. Uh, you know, get our get our things up and hopefully get strong enough to actually 
have a role in sect politics here. So uh, that's what I'm hoping to do. But for now, I'll call some here. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I've been Sean, this is Blue Screeners, and I'll, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later!